Hey guys, welcome back to The Pulse. I'm Marcel. Today I want to talk to you specifically about Fizetin. I'm going to call it Fizetin. There are a couple other pronunciations, but I'll put the text up there of the name so we're all clear. Um, I have had tremendous results, as I've reported before, taking Fizetin. Fizetin is a flavonoid, uh, a polyphenol it's also referred to as. It exists naturally in many of our foods. And it's a senolytic, which means it can kill off zombie cells. Now, keep in mind, it also can impact your NAD levels because of that list of 19 different ingredients, natural ingredients, that can activate sirtuins. It was initially on that list out of thousands of different candidates. So, fizetin is impacting your NAD levels as well in a positive way. But it's primarily been taken for and tested for as a senolytic or an anti-zombie cell or zombie cell uh, inhibitor. Zombie cells are cells in our body that stop dividing and can cause inflammation and other health issues. So getting rid of them or purging them from time to time can prove to be a very healthy exercise. And the Mayo Clinic has been doing this with elderly people in human clinical trials, as have other institutions, and things have been going very positively. They've also tested it versus a drug combination quercetin therapy, and Fizetin has held up extremely well being a natural ingredient. For my own experience with Fizetin, I started off doing that Mayo Clinic sort of uh, purging uh, dosage where you would take it for two, three days, a high dosage. I only worked my way up to 2.4 grams, so I never got up to the four grams that they've been giving to their patients. But I did uh, get to pretty high dosage and I was getting great results, although the results of energy and general wellness would sort of fade or dip in between those purges. So after about three months of this, kind of that roller coaster ride, mostly very positive results, other than it would peak and I would want it to stay peaked, um, some people said, hey, why don't you try a maintenance dose, taking maybe just one capsule every day? So ultimately, after seeing that Dr. Sinclair and others have tried that and had positive results, I then decided, okay, I'll also try a maintenance dose to be your guinea pig and sort of report back to you how it's going. So for a month, I took it every day, 400 milligrams, one capsule from Do Not Age. There is a link and a discount code, the pulse in the description below, as always. Uh, you can use that. You can use that on reorders, by the way. A lot of people have, a lot of people have been reporting positive results from Fizetin and reordering Fizetin, which is always a positive indicator. Now, in addition to energy boosts over this past month, uh, it's it wasn't the spike in boost that I was getting before, but it was a pretty good, a higher energy than the dips. So the desired effect of leveling off and being somewhere in between was pretty much what I felt. There was also this general wellness that sort of just continued the whole time. Now, I did uh, ultimately over the holidays battle uh, this virus. I believe it's this RS virus that's been going around. My family got it severely, very severe symptoms. I've only had some minor symptoms that I'm still fighting with a little bit. Ultimately, you have to kind of go, am I sick? <laughs> when you're taking NMN and then uh, things like Fizetin and other minerals and vitamins that I'm taking, you sort of don't know when you're sick all the time. You sort of say, oh, you have this energy dip, but you don't always know it. So you need to get in touch with your body. That'll happen over time uh, from practicing wellness uh, approaches in general and also a good diet, exercise. I do take supplements, um, but I'm not invincible. I could still get sick. Fortunately, I don't get it as severely as I used to where I would just be knocked out for days. I'm still able to function, lead a normal life, but I do kind of tell myself, hey, slow down. You're not quite 100% slow down. I think Fizetin has helped me through this. And I'm going to give you an anecdotal story in a moment, um, but I want to talk about just in general, you should be aware of your body. You should take measurements. That doesn't always mean a blood test. You should be exercising or walking. You know, one of the frailty scores that they uh, judge elderly people besides asking them a bunch of questions about how they're doing is to actually make them stand up and sit down or they have them walk. So these frailty scores are repeated in double blind tests with healthy people, elderly people, sick people, and they can really get a good idea for what a substance is doing. And these scores improve when people were taking Fizetin. But you do, you should also measure yourself. You should also go for walks. You should also time yourself. Or if you're biking or if you're swimming laps, whatever the case may be, 
time yourself and sort of measure yourself. Find a way to measure your results. Start off with a baseline, do some exercise, add whatever supplement or new routine. And I'm going to talk more about this going into the new year, but find ways to measure yourself because there are times I don't know what my results really are without exercising, without actually going out and doing something. Fizetin for me, and I think this is why not everybody reports these amazing results from taking Fizetin. Uh, I noticed that when I exercise, I'm able to exercise longer and have energy for a longer period of time, what, I'll call, what I call that Superman mode. If you're not generally active, you're not going to necessarily know something has changed. So it's important to know how to measure that. Now, also just briefly, why take Fizetin over like a medication if you're kind of low in energy or feeling discomfort or, for, for example, um, a headache or my wife had her female symptoms a month ago and they were extremely severe. So I said, we were out of her typical German version of Excedrin. And I said, instead of going to the pharmacy and getting a pharmaceutical drug, why don't you try something? I've got different supplements. She's not into taking supplements yet, but when she needs something, when she's suffering, she's more open-minded suddenly to try something. So she tried Fizetin and that day. She was feeling discomfort for several hours. And by that evening, we were all taking a family walk together at a Christmas market. And she said, I feel totally normal. And that was just two capsules of Fizetin put into a small dish with some olive oil mixed up and just taken it. And within hours, she felt better. Um, she had a similar boost from taking NMN that I'll talk about in another video, but it's interesting the quick acting, the fast acting power of some of these things. Why is that so much better in my view than taking a pharmaceutical? I think a lot of you are already gonna feel this way, but keep in mind, even drinking alcohol, by the way, very tempting when you're not feeling great to wanna to mask it, whether it's ibuprofen or whether it's drinking, and sometimes, God forbid, even both. Um, avoid these things, avoid those impulses, fight your way through, just increase your liquids, have the discomfort, try to rest, try to avoid the masking, and try some supplements. If you're open-minded to it, if you wanna feel the results that I've been feeling, my wife's recently been feeling, something like Fizetin can have really good anti-inflammatory properties, anti-inflammatory results. And in her case, her headache, her discomfort went away within hours. Uh, in my case, I've been able to exercise a lot more and feel an improvement in my general wellness. So yes, the maintenance dose did accomplish what we were discussing. I'm sort of looking for ways to take a couple days off and then do a, a couple capsules. That seems to be working well for me, especially when I have a tennis tournament or something going on and I wanna hit a higher gear of, on that Superman scale. Um, I'm still experimenting. However, I am inclined to stick in general with a maintenance dose. Everybody's results are going to vary, but give it a shot if you're open-minded to it. If you want to try Fizetin, it's not only worked for me, it's worked for other people I know, including my own wife. She's experienced some results from it as well. So good luck with it, and I'll be talking to you more.